In this video, I'm going to show you the three different erosional boundaries. They are known as some conformities, and they represent time when the sediments are not deposited in the environment or when erosion occurs in rocks or sediments. The first unconformity is known as nonconformity and represent a contact or surface between metamorphic or igneous rocks and a sequence of sedimentary rocks. So in this case we have a metamorphic rock here and then we're going to add some sedimentary rocks here this layer here we're going to add one more and the contact between the metamorphic and our sequence of sedimentary rocks is that we call nonconformity the second unconformity is angular unconformity, and that one occurs when we have two different sequences of sedimentary rocks. In this case, the first sequence of sedimentary rocks has been tilled or deformed by tectonics or local fault. We're going to have different layers here of sedimentary rocks. the last one here and see that there is an angle of all these layers then we had new deposition and we're gonna add one more so new layers are deposited and the boundary between these two different sequences of sedimentary rocks, we call it angular unconformity. The last unconformity is disconformity. And this one occurs when we have a sequence of sedimentary rocks. I'm going to add one more layer here. And at some point, the top of this layer can be eroded or a period of no depositation. So over this layer, new sediments are deposited, forming new layers of rocks. One more layer here. And this surface between these two sequences of sedimentary rocks is that we call disconformity. And that disconformity basically represents a gap in time. 